so what you learned from that experience, what would you tell the younger Leon mm. Taylor that, that would be going through that right now? Yeah, so I get the chance to do that now. So my role as, as mentor for you know many athletes across different sports through my work with Sports Aid. I'm very fortunate to be part of the Team England Futures programme this year, 2022, as we go into a home Commonwealth Games in, in Birmingham. So I get to uh, to spend time with with lots of athletes at different points on on their career. So being able to share my mistakes, my experiences, my what I would do differently type stuff. Um, it, it you come from the culture, don't you? And the environment shapes where you are. And it came through this period in sport. It wasn't quite win at all costs, but it had a bit of that going on. There was an acceleration through and you've got to keep up. You've got to keep your funding, you've got to keep winning medals. Medals means funding and da, da, da. And that was all these outcome driven goals. There was no Leon, you're a human being, like, how are you doing? Like, you know, what's going on? What else are you doing? You know, Oh, no, I'm just going to dive because you know, if I'm just focusing on diving, that's going to, well, then now you're injured. What are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to go stir crazy at home because I can't train for seven hours and I've got nothing else to do because I've put university on hold because I was too busy to do university because I needed to focus on all this training. Well, yeah, maybe that would have been. And to be fair, Lewis, by the time I recovered from my fourth shoulder surgery, I was back at university studying part time studying something I knew nothing about, business and finance. It was massively challenging in that domain. And it meant that my fourth rehab was the smoothest one. And my shoulder has been totally fine ever since. In fact, I retired due to my lower back, you know, which is another, another story. But, you know, eventually the body you know, has these hot spots. But, you know, I learned over that period of time about this notion of, of balance and also it's to, we talk a lot about it these days and, and the, the word vulnerability it means different things to different people but this this ability to go hey just because I'm an Olympian and I choose to do this doesn't mean that I'm bulletproof in my relationships in my friendships in all the areas that are going to impact me when things aren't going well and if I've got all my eggs in one basket which I think is the answer to your question then that's okay for a period of time when things are going well but guess what you know, the only guarantee is that there's no guarantees and things will go, you know, in different directions. And the ability to be able to steady yourself as a as a person, as a human being, as a as a human being, just like, OK, I, this is something I choose to do and find a way to to ground yourself is incredibly important. <laughs>